Hey everyone, it is Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am doing great. It's a beautiful day in Manhattan and I'm gonna go outside right after this, but I find myself inside thinking about the lies I was told as a child. That's where my brain goes. That's how it works. It's just always all over the place. For example, acne will go away when you're an adult. Kids, it's a lie. I know it's true. It's a lie. It's, it's awful. It's awful. How about this one? It's a pop culture reference, but it seems like I watched a lot of movies when I was a kid and someone inevitably died in quicksand. Did you know there's not really a thing as quicksand? It's really kind of like slow mud. It's not nearly as devastating as the movies told us as children. In fact, you don't really ever go under and suffocate a horrible death. You kind of just get mired in the muck and if your horse or a dog or a partner or someone can't save you and you can't get yourself out on your own, which is quite possible with slow mud, you die a horrible death of exposure or dehydration or some critter munching on you. Oh, it's horrible. That's kind of like the last three years of Bruce Weber basketball. I, I know that might seem harsh, but there hasn't been anything apparently so devastating that it just has been over. After 10 years now, two Big 12 titles, may I add, which are wonderful in his first year and then in 2019, the three seasons following that title have ended up with if K-State can beat Oklahoma on Saturday. I'm going to give them the win. Weber winning 14 of his 54 Big 12 games. That's 26% rounded up. Rounded up, it's 26%. And I've heard a lot of people compare these last three seasons to what it was like under Jim Wooldridge or Tom Asbury. No, it's not at all. In fact, it's worse, and the numbers show it. Wooldridge actually was closer to 500 in conference play than people really want to recognize, but his teams weren't that great. Asbury, on the other hand, his final three years in Manhattan added up to 16 and 32 in Big 12 play. So he actually won more games while playing fewer because back then you only played 16 conference games and Coach Weber's playing 18 and he still has fewer wins. This is the worst three-year stretch without a doubt in the history of Kansas State basketball. And still some defend Bruce Weber saying he should be retained because he won two Big 12 titles. Look, I wish it had been quicksand. I wish it was fast and quick and we were just done with it, but it's not. And I don't want a critter to eat this program. I want someone to rescue us and pull us out of this slow mud. And unfortunately, that's exactly what Bruce Weber's basketball program has become for K-State fans.